Welcome to Wayne State University Law School's 2021 virtual commencement. While I realize that we are not in the same physical space right now, I also know that many members of our community are gathered around their screens watching this together at this very moment. Members of the Board of Governors and the administration, faculty, staff, parents, grandparents, siblings, children, friends, alumni, and of course, members of the Wayne Law class of 2021. Thank you all for joining us and honoring our graduates as they follow in the footsteps of so many of our distinguished alumni and serve the public as advocates for justice. This is a time for celebration, but it is also bittersweet because this is not the party that any of us had so hoped for. For that, I am very sorry. All of us, faculty, staff, your friends and family, wanted nothing more than to spend a day at the Opera House. As a class, you have spent nearly half of your legal education in a virtual classroom during what can be described as one of the most trying times in all of our lives. But the pandemic never stopped you. It never stopped you from reaching out to your friends and classmates to make sure they were okay, especially our 1Ls, some of whom have never stepped foot inside our building. It never stopped you from working hard and taking our competition teams to national and global rounds. It never stopped you from raising your voice in peaceful protest or in finding new ways to help your clinic clients. It never stopped you when you were told something couldn't be done from stepping back and finding a way to do it and do it better. Most importantly though, it never stopped you from balancing school and all of the other demands on your lives, like work or caring for relatives and friends or sharing the kitchen table with your own children who, like you, also were living and learning in an online environment. Some of you did all of these things at once. As Dean, I've witnessed firsthand the achievements of the unstoppable class of 2021, and I could not be prouder of you. I can say with complete confidence that if you ever had any doubts about your ability to handle adversity or the heavy demands of our profession, the way you've handled yourselves during your time here ought to vanquish them. COVID-19 changed everything. Looking back on last year at this time, I never would have thought that we'd be hosting another virtual graduation ceremony. Yet here we are. Throughout all of this, you didn't complain or ask for a different hand of cards. You just handled it, and you did so with grace and courage. Throughout your time at Wayne Law, you have contributed to the school and the community in ways big and small. You logged long hours serving the community through pro bono projects and in clinics, applying what you learned in the classroom to assist real world clients. You advocated for everyone from Detroit residents trying to realize their dream of starting a business to cancer patients, asylum seekers, and others facing some of the darkest and most difficult moments of their lives. Among our graduates today, are students who, as 1Ls, convened more than 200 people for a day-long interdisciplinary event on empowering legal advocates to combat human trafficking. Black Law Students Association leaders in this class created the now annual Be the Change event, this year on Zoom. This hands-on experience teaches young people the fundamentals of public speaking and argumentation empowering them to develop core critical thinking and debate skills, a sort of window into law school for middle schoolers that boosts confidence and self-esteem. Graduating today is Wayne Law's first Miss JD Fellowship recipient, one of only 12 other women in the country. Miss JD is a project in partnership with the American Bar Association Commission on Women in the Profession to promote mentoring and professional development for future female attorneys. Members of our Jessup International Law Moot Court team are stewarding Wayne Law's global reputation, proving what we already know. 
our students can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best in the world. This class also includes members of the team that took us to the finals of the American Bar Association National Appellate Advocacy Competition for the third year, taking home the fourth best brief and placing in the top 16 in the country. I could go on. This is just a small slice of what the members of this class already have done and contributed as students. Just think of what they will do as lawyers. Graduates, when I say that you have earned this moment, I could not mean it with more sincerity or admiration. Congratulations to each and every one of you. It's now my great honor to introduce our keynote speaker. Kathleen Wilson Thompson, the former Executive Vice President and Global Chief Human Resources Officer of Walgreens Boots Alliance, earned both her JD and LLM from Wayne Law. She is a member of the Board of Directors of Tesla and a former Board Director of Vulcan Materials and Ashland Global Holdings. Currently, she serves on the Board of Directors for the Alumni Association of the University of Michigan and the NAACP Foundation. Black Enterprise Magazine has repeatedly named her as one of its top 300 most powerful executives in corporate America. And Savoy Magazine has featured her in lists such as most influential black executives in corporate America and most influential black corporate directors. Please join me in welcoming Kathleen Wilson Thompson for the keynote address. Thank you for that introduction, Dean Bierschbach. It is a privilege and honor to spend just a few minutes with you today to celebrate your graduation and hopefully inspire you as well as challenge you. And equally important, I want to thank and honor your families, friends, and villages who supported you to get to your graduation today. Please cherish your days at Wayne State Law School and revere it as one that will catapult you to fulfill your aspirations. I certainly reflect on my own time at Wayne with great warmth. I remember the first year nerves to recite the facts of a case, intriguing courses and professors, late night study sessions in the annex, fun evenings at Circa or traffic jam. Great friendships were forged. These were lifelong friends who had amazing careers from a trustee in the bankruptcy court, preeminent trial lawyer, public school administrator, procurement expert, and a member of the bench. One friend even introduced me to my husband and we produced our most important contribution to the world in the form of an amazing feminist scholar daughter. It sounds cliche, but I promise, it seems like it was just a few years ago that I sat where you sit today, beaming and excited. I looked at the world and knew there was a place for me in it as an attorney. But what I also knew was that my Wayne Law degree would prepare me for great things. The consummate training was the measure of any attorney anywhere in the world. In 2017, I thought of that revelation when I sat not more than 20 feet in front of Ruth Bader Ginsburg at the Supreme Court. When the gavel dropped and the marshal announced their entrance, my eyes were fixed on her and I took in the moment, studying the other eight justices, the room, the decorum of the proceedings. I was sworn in to practice before the Supreme Court with several other attorneys who had graduated from Wayne. And I raised my right hand and thought through my tears of the varied and esteemed careers we each had pursued as attorneys, litigators, and business people. Like with those friends and colleagues, all of your careers may take different curves on your journeys. How different? Consider that a few years ago, I found myself in one of my most intriguing meetings to join the board of Tesla. And I sat across from Elon Musk, highlighting my professional career, underscoring my legal training, beginning with my JD and LLM in corporate and finance law, as well as my business career. In order to distinguish myself, it was important not to be bound by precedent of a textbook interview, droning about my experience. The best part though was that he didn't want that either. He really wanted to hear how I think and what I'm passionate about. So the seminal fact is that I treated it as a case of first impression and shared my story and my dreams of a more equitable world, tying it to Tesla's trailblazing mission to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. You all understand what it means in law to recognize precedent, and you understand that a case of first impression is one that has not been previously addressed by the court or even within the court's jurisdiction, and therefore there is no binding authority. You are free 
to shape a new reality through your argument, your articulation of the facts, your sense of what's right. You have the ability to shape a new standard, a new approach, a new solution. Well, that's how I approach that opportunity and others I've encountered in my life's journey. When I earned my law degree from Wayne, my legal future was unknown. But one thing was certain, I had no interest in ticking a box as a precedent. The worn out tropes were rejected. And more importantly, any idea of settling into a tidy pre-built box of limitations for a black woman were also rejected. I was determined to live my life and career as a case of first impression, to write my own story with my own pen. Even when I stumbled or failed, I picked up, dusted off, and worked to be a problem solver, a leader, and a status quo breaker. With that mindset and a dash of good fortune, it led me to a career worthy of the privilege of addressing you today. So I encourage you to think of your lives as a case of first impression. No strike that. I challenge you to think of your lives as being a case of first impression. That's because we, our country, our world, need your boldness, your grit, your daring energy. Over the last year alone, we have endured a pandemic that has taken human life and battered the human soul. We have witnessed a new social justice and racial equity movement materialize following the killing of Mr. George Floyd and subsequent guilty verdict. We are navigating a pandemic and its economic impacts with millions of jobs lost, along with systemic racism, hate crimes, mass murders, climate change, environmental impact debates, an immigration crisis, and intense political upheaval over regulations that could very well result in voter suppression. And of course, the attack on the Capitol that put our very American democracy in jeopardy. Ultimately, class of 2021, our basic human, humanity is at risk. What are you called upon to do to address what is being described as unprecedented times? You are now trained, ready, and poised to make a difference in these issues, which cry for your leadership. And more than a mere op-ed speech from on high pontificating about social justice, from grassroots neighborhood meetings to impacting legislations, you can make a real difference. But you cannot afford to be set in the past with past approaches and precedent limiting your impact, regardless of which side of the aisle you might sit. You're young, bright design thinkers. Tackle these major issues unrestrained from precedent. Take your wonderful Wayne State law education and stretch it beyond the norms or expectations of the past to new horizons and fresh solutions for our future. Attack these current times and social economic challenges as a case of first impression. In this new world order, we need your genius to solve these pressing world and social justice issues. We need you to pick up the gauntlet in whatever path you choose to drive new legislation, argue new laws, to think with creativity and courage while honoring your own personal value set. In conclusion, please hold true the oath you will take when you raise your right hand for our state bar that reads in part, I will never reject from any consideration personal to myself the cause of the defenseless or oppressed. If there is to be any reckoning of the unprecedented socioeconomic and divisive issues plaguing our world, we must build a bridge between the powerful and the powerless. Steeped in the fine Wayne State Law School tradition, this may be your last, but most important, Socratic question. Armed with your JDs and LLM, what will you do to take up the cause of the defenseless and the oppressed to make a difference, to fight the good fight for a more just and humane world? Thank you and congratulations, Wayne State University Law School Class of 2021. Thank you, Kathleen. We are proud to have you as an alumna. Our next speaker is a graduate of Wayne Law's Class of 1971, former Chief Justice of the Michigan Supreme Court, Chair of Wayne State University's Board of Governors, and the law school's distinguished jurist in residence. I welcome Justice Marilyn Kelly, who will bring remarks on behalf of the board. It's my pleasure to welcome the graduates of the law school class of 2021 
and send you our deepest and most heartfelt congratulations. Today, as you graduate, the world churns under our feet with seismic change. At times we feel we're barely hanging on. We comfort ourselves and one another saying, this too will pass and inevitably it will. But some things will not pass and fade from view. They are the good things, the knowledge you've gained at Wayne State, the friendships you've made and the wisdom you've gained during your years here. You've worked so very hard to get to this moment and you should be oh so proud as we are of your accomplishments. After all, you're graduating from an outstanding institution. Today, you join more than 280,000 alumni who call Wayne State University their alma mater. Repeatedly in future years, you will meet people who hearing where you attended law school will smile and say to you, I did too. That school was a foundation of my success in the law. I know, I know it's true because that happened to me. We grads of Wayne Law accomplish our professional goals and serve the community we live in. We make it a better place. Consider that responsibility. Consider how you personally can shape the future of the legal profession with your work. How you can engage the notion of service and social responsibility. Then find ways, big and small, to incorporate those goals into your daily practice of law. You will succeed. Again, congratulations from the Board of Governors and the entire Wayne State University community. Our best wishes to you. Thank you, Justice Kelly. It's now my pleasure to introduce Wayne State University's Chief Academic Officer, Interim Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Lori M. lozon Claybo. As Wayne State University's Chief Academic Officer, it's an honor to congratulate all of you, the Wayne Law Class of 2021, on the occasion of your law school graduation. For over 150 years, Wayne State University has anchored the city of Detroit as an engaged and motivated community of scholars. Today, more than 26,000 students are pursuing degrees at Wayne State. Each one is earning an education at a nationally ranked research university, strengthened by the culture, industry, and diversity of its urban setting. We believe in the definition of a university as a place where highly motivated people of differing backgrounds and aspirations may pursue both knowledge and personal growth. As a Wayne State student, you've grown in knowledge and honed your skill. You have made us all very proud. Despite the challenges presented by a, an online environment over the last year, you've made the best of it at every turn. Through your clinics and externships, you are in a unique position to see how the inequities that have long existed in our society were exacerbated by the pandemic. As future lawyers, these experiences will leave you well positioned to shape law and policy and to improve the lives of all people. As a nurse, I encourage you to continue to do that through interdisciplinary collaboration, something that's been woven into the fabric of Wayne State and the law school in particular through efforts like the Legal Advocacy for People with Cancer Clinic and the new Minor in Law program. By working together, we can achieve the best outcomes for our patients, our clients, and our society as a whole. Congratulations again, Wayne Law Class of 2021. Thank you, Provost Klebo. The President of the Student Board of Governors, or SBG, has significant responsibility as leader and chief liaison between our students and the law school administration. Our outgoing SBG president, along with her fellow SBG officers, has played an important role in building community at Wayne Law. They worked hard throughout their tenure to be a voice for students and an effective partner to the law school administration. I've greatly enjoyed collaborating with them and deeply value all of their efforts this year, and I'm confident 
that their leadership in the legal community is only beginning. I'm happy to introduce the president of the Student Board of Governors for the 2020 to 2021 academic year, Gabriella M. Grimaldi, who will recognize the professors of the year. Welcome deans, faculty, staff, my fellow classmates, and all of the family members, significant others, and roommates who had the misfortune of overhearing our classes on Zoom for the past year and a half. Thank you for joining us graduates to celebrate this evening. And to my own family, thank you for finally being on time to a graduation. You didn't have to sit in traffic or find parking this time around, but I, along with my classmates, understand just how difficult it can be to log online sometimes. For those who don't know, the class of 2021 had the unique experience of doing half of our legal education 100% online, which means if any of you family members or friends bring us your parking tickets in the future, you may or may not end up in prison. For liability purposes, that was a joke. I can assure you all that you will be in great hands with us as your lawyers. I think I speak for all graduates when I say at times, it felt like this day would never come. I still vividly remember our 1L orientation. We all walked into the law school in our finest pantsuits on a very, very hot day where the AC of course wasn't working and waited in line for our headshots. The headshots that still haunt some of us to this day. We were then ushered into the auditorium where the dean spoke to us. They told us that the infamous saying that most law students hear during orientation, look to your right, look to your left, one of you won't be here next year, would not apply to our class. They went on to tell us that although law school would be the most intellectually challenging endeavor that we would ever experience, we would all rise to the occasion and even enjoy ourselves at times. The days following orientation made me incredibly skeptical of that statement, as I realized I signed up to spend the next three years of my life reading. During orientation, we were handed a printout of all of our readings for the first day of class. By the time I completed reading everything listed on the front side of the page, which took hours, it didn't even occur to me that there could possibly be more reading assignments listed on the back. I realized this during our first class when our professor started cold calling students about things I definitely didn't read about. I would not wish the panic I felt in that moment upon my worst enemy. Every class after that, I quadruple checked the reading assignments, but still dreaded the thought of getting cold called. I will let all of our non-lawyer family and friends into a little law school secret right now. We always act like we know what we are talking about at home, but we are actually convinced we have no idea what we are talking about in class. In the beginning, law school has a strange way of making you feel completely inadequate and underqualified. You are constantly put on the spot to speak on complex legal topics that you just read about in front of your intelligent and accomplished peers. I'm sure my Section 1 classmates remember holding their breath while we all watched our torts professor stick his hand in a hat that was full of our names or walking into civil procedure to see our professor staring at a seating chart with pictures of our faces on it, then looking up into the crowd. At some point though, it all became less intimidating. I think part of that was that we all figured out that every correct answer to a cold call begins with the statement, it depends. We realized that the point of law school isn't to teach you answers to legal questions, but rather how to think like a lawyer. We have been trained to always seek out the weaknesses in our own arguments and beliefs, engage in different perspectives, and consider the slight but unlikely possibility that we could be wrong, which our family and friends can attest is often very challenging for us to do. I think they can also attest to the fact that law school has changed how we see the world. It is almost impossible for us to turn off our lawyer brains and just accept the issues and inequalities and injustices we see or hear about. We are graduating during a pivotal moment in history where more things are uncertain than certain, but with uncertainty comes extraordinary opportunity. Lawyers are, at their core, problem solvers, and boy do we have a lot of problems to solve right now. But I can say with utmost confidence that this class is filled with the kind of lawyers the world needs. The class of 2021 is made up of veterans, accountants, architects, medical professionals, and musicians to name a few. I have been endlessly inspired by the things that brought my classmates to law school. Your need to be challenged, your sense of injustice, your desire to be a voice for the voiceless, and your drive to be a force for change. Together, we helped and pushed each other to be the best advocates we could be. And in my opinion, I think we all did a pretty good job. In a span of three years, we went from Googling concerning questions like, what is a tort? 
and struggling to use the hellish legal citation handbook, otherwise known as the Blue Book, to being able to successfully issue spot on final exams, write memorandums and briefs, and do oral arguments. And when we were faced with the challenge of continuing our legal education online in the midst of a pandemic, we rose to the occasion like we always have. To get nostalgic just one last time, on our first day of law school, we were told that one day when we enter a courtroom, there's a good chance our opposing counsel and judge will be our former classmates. I think they told us this to scare us into caring about our reputations. But now that it's all said and done, I could not be prouder to have been a part of this class and look forward to running into you all in court or on Zoom one day. So on that note, congratulations, class of 2021. But before I go, I have the honor of presenting two especially deserving professors with the award for Professors of the Year. The winner of the 1L Professor of the Year Award is a criminal law expert and is receiving this award for the fourth time. Congratulations, Professor William Mortman. Thank you, Gabriella, and congratulations to this extraordinary graduating class. From your first day on campus to your last class on Zoom, you brought focus, drive, and inquisitiveness to your legal education. Now you're gonna bring those same traits to your clients, and I, for one, can't wait to see it. Your professors are going to miss you as students, but more importantly, we welcome you as our newest colleagues in the legal profession. Again, congratulations. Now on to the award for Upper Class Professor of the Year. The winner of this award is an expert in environmental and water law. Congratulations, Professor Noah Hall. Thank you, Gabriella. Uh, and uh, thank you uh, to all the students uh, graduating in the class of 2021. Uh, I'm deeply honored by this recognition. Uh, and really, I just uh, wanna take the opportunity to share with you what a pleasure and an honor it's been to learn from you in the class setting uh, I've had the chance to work with many of you as students uh, in classes going back to property in your first year. Um, and I've seen the work that you're all capable of individually and collectively. Uh, I've seen the work that you've produced uh, throughout your law school career. And it gives me so much hope and optimism for what you're gonna be able to accomplish uh, as you move out of law school and move into your careers. Uh, especially this year when we had a lot of challenging circumstances. What I saw you do uh, it, individually, uh, every single one of you, um, and I've had the pleasure of having um, uh, almost all of you in my classes. And what I've seen you do gives me so much confidence about what you're going to be able to do in the years to come. Uh, thank you for sharing your time with us at Wayne Law. And uh, please, please know that uh, we uh, have uh, so much gratitude for the, what you give us as students. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriella, and congratulations to Professor Ortman and Professor Hall. It's now my pleasure to introduce Wayne State University President M. Roy Wilson. Greetings, graduates, and congratulations to the Wayne State University Law School Class of 2021. I also would like to welcome your family members and friends, faculty and staff of the law school who are watching today's ceremony. I know this is not the graduation ceremony you dreamed of, but even though we can't gather in person in caps and gowns to celebrate your special day, this doesn't diminish your achievement in any way. So take the time to enjoy this day, this moment, and all the hard work and sacrifice it took you to get here. Today, our students join the distinguished class of citizens, both the rule of law and those who counsel citizens about the law are indispensable to our society. Both transcend time and cultures. Both deserve our deepest respect. Law is the glue that binds our country and keeps us whole as a people. It is essential to an orderly and safe society. Our Constitution was ratified more than 230 years ago, and the law continues to adapt to the needs of justice. It is as alive today as it was in the 18th century, and you have a continuing responsibility to breathe new life 
into it. Part of this has to do with others. Your responsibility to serve the less fortunate of our society is made explicit in the oath you take before admission to the Michigan Bar. In that oath, each of you will swear never to reject from any consideration personal to you the cause of the defenseless or oppressed. So your calling is much deeper than the letter of the law. Your ultimate duty is to serve as champions and defenders of our freedom. As John Locke wrote, where there is no law, there is no freedom. Whatever direction your career takes you, I trust that you will dedicate yourself to justice and the protection of freedom. They help form the fabric of our democratic ideals, and they are opportunities to make the law work for the good of all Americans. And as it has become painfully clear from the events that have unfolded around us in the past year, justice is unevenly applied in our country. We enjoy our liberty unequally, and we have much work yet to do before we achieve equal justice under law. May you always feel the power and the privilege of having been called to serve both your profession and your fellow citizens. Congratulations and best wishes to you all. Our commencement ceremony honors three groups of graduating students. Those who earned their degrees last December, those who completed their studies in the term just ended, and those who will complete their studies at the end of this summer session. President Wilson, upon the recommendation of the Faculty of the Law School, I present the class of 2021 and recommend them as worthy guardians of the rule of law who will seek to lead and serve our city, state, and nation as advocates for justice. The authority to confer each of these degrees is vested in the Board of Governors of Wayne State University by the people of the state of Michigan under the Constitution of the state. This authority is delegated to the president by the board each of these degrees is granted on the recommendation of the faculty of the university. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors and upon the recommendation of the respective faculties, I do hereby confer upon you the degree for which the faculties have recommended you, and I admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. Congratulations. Thank you, President Wilson. We are approaching that important moment, the presentation of this year's graduates. Before we read your names, I want to share some final words with you. I've been a law professor for 18 years now. I've participated in a lot of commencement ceremonies. This is my fourth one as a dean and only my second one as a dean accompanying a class all the way through law school. During our time together, including working with you during the pandemic, I've developed a unique perspective on how extraordinary you are as a class. As Dean, I might not have been able to spend as much time as I wanted with each of you individually, but I've had an especially good viewpoint for appreciating how your many individual achievements and your collective character contribute to an even greater good and to our great law school's reputation and mission of justice for all. You inspire me, and you inspire all of us. As you step out into the world as graduates, I urge you to remember the importance of perspective. In many ways, perspective is central to what we teach in law school. How to see a transaction, an argument, a case, a problem, from multiple angles and points of view to turn it around and analyze it from many different directions. You're going to need that skill in the years ahead, not just as lawyers, but also as people. In fact, those who are most effective as lawyers are almost always those who are also most effective as people. Your qualities as a person, your professionalism, integrity, grit, passion, discipline, 
how you treat others, the character with which you face adversity will be just as important to your long-term success and impact as a lawyer as your academic record, and probably even more so. Please don't forget that, and don't forget that careers are long, winding, and unexpected. At this moment, you might not know exactly what you are going to do or want, and that's okay. Your law degree is the most versatile tool you have. You'll be able to do just about anything with it, and all of you, by definition, by reaching this milestone and by so admirably confronting the many challenges that you face this year, have what it takes. As Wayne Law alumni, you're now members of a network more than 12,000 strong, filled with attorneys, senators, justices, activists, engineers, at least two opera singers, fashion industry leaders, business professionals, corporate executives, and so many others. Leverage that network. Our support doesn't stop when this ceremony ends. On the issue of perspective, I also want to take a moment to acknowledge the events of the past year. In a little under two weeks, we will mark one year since George Floyd was murdered and since the beginning of the long overdue national activism his death catalyzed. I wish I could say that things have gotten better, and in some ways perhaps they have, but we would be deceiving ourselves if we did not acknowledge that our country is still a very long way from where it needs to be in the pursuit of racial and social justice, or that this past year was not a tumultuous one. I know that many of us felt battered by what seemed like one incomprehensible episode after another, whether the events at the U.S. Capitol in January, the spate of attacks on Asian Americans, including the murders in Atlanta, or any other number of events, ranging from the jarring to the outright horrific. At times, it felt like our country was ripping itself apart. Our community is strong. I see it daily as Dean. Our students, faculty, staff, and alumni support each other without question when called upon. But we all always have more work to do. As we advance the critical causes of racial and social justice, we cannot let race, gender, religion, or political affiliation define the friendships we have and the communities with which we engage. I have an ongoing challenge for all of you as you walk out our virtual doors for the last time as a student and move through the world as lawyers. Get to know the people around you, especially people who are different from you. Different perspectives will challenge you, help you grow, and shape you into better people and stronger lawyers and advocates. And now, it's my great pleasure to turn to the reading of the graduates' names. Without further ado, I ask Associate Dean Rachel Settledge and Professors of the Year Noah Hall and William Ortman to present the graduates. President Wilson, Dean Biersbach, I, with the Wayne Law Professors of the Year, present to you the members of the class who received the degrees of Juris Doctor and Master of Laws in December 2020, and the candidates for Juris Doctor and Master of Law degrees for May and August 2021. Chadish Akinsi. Hind Alakum. Lauren Ayub. Daniel Balovich. John David Balovich. Inkjin Batbuyan. Dalila Bayi. Brad Benedetto. Malak Y. Beydoun.
Jessica N. Biondo. Christopher Borkin. William Broman. Regine Brooks. Cheyenne Brown. Jackson Boudet. Rebecca Bundy. Ethan Carey. Scott Carter. Michael Carty. Mary Jennifer Chavez. Alexandra Jillian Choate. James Claiborne. George Cobain. Rihanna Combs. Brandon Shane Corcoran. Madeline Craig. Francesca Marie Cusimano. Anthony Delamonte. Alec Denunzio. Eric Decker. Simran Dillon. Brett Dieterichs. Benjamin David Dietlin. Catherine Dold. Charles Drabeck. Joshua B. Engel. Taylor Lee Ann Esther. Jordan Ewald. Cody Fields. Courtney Fields. Michael Anthony Fox. Donald Alexander Fuller Wisner. Luke Geringer. Maggie George. Aaron Giannopoulos. Christine Gagne. Zoe Grenfell. Gabriella Grimaldi. David Greiza. Mazen Hajale. Jenna Dalat Hashasen. Lauren Deborah Harrington. Elena Haskin. Ibrahim Imad Hassan. Lindsay Hazen. Samuel Hess. Nadine Hesse. Emily.
Emily Honnett. Margot Aaron Hyman. Nicholas Yakamovich. Taylor Jansen. James Earl Deshaun Johnson. Ryan Johnson. Sydney G. Johnson. Morgan Jones. Jacob Kahn. Ryan Kane. Angela Grace Kerrig. Danielle Kennebrew. Saba Kadri. Isra Kuja. Fallon Copy. Matilda Cole. Anna LaCroix. Courtney Lavender. Cassandra Marie Lee Kasner. Christian Lika. Anthony Lighthouser. Aaron Linzer. Alec Landel. Michelle Lucas Narcisse. Nancy Marawi. Brian Markham. Alex Masson. Patrick Masterson. Candice Mayer. Derek McAuliffe. Lydia McHale. Daniel Mixer. Rostislav Morozovsky. Adam Morton. Molly Rebecca Moss. Maxfield Mudar. Tatija Mukherjee. Mayori Nafade. Lauren Namazi. Mallory Nisu. Kylie O'Brien. Donald Osinski. Samantha Perry. Derek Peterson. Christopher Picard. Edwin Piner. Kelsey Postuma. Allison Margaret Putt. Daniel Relly. Brianna Robbins. Matthew W. J. Ryder. Bulos Sabbath. Miranda Sarham. Michael Schwartz. Leah Sharon. 
Lauren Shinneberry. Max Schuert. Elena Simopoulos. Layla Rose Sizemore. Emily C. Smith. Gregory Tuj. Haley Tomich. Anna Transit. Halsey A. Travers. Alexia Pappen Vader. Benjamin Van Barr. Hannah Wagner. Veronica Walrad. Philip Wandez. Taylor Marie Wells. Elizabeth West. Christina Woodward. Benjamin Wu. Ahmed Zaher. This concludes our 2021 virtual commencement ceremony. I now invite you to join us for a live virtual toast to the class of 2021. If you do not already have the link, you will find it available in the chat.